It looks like that the things that we relate to concussion in our calculations are completely separate from traumatic brain injury. They're two separate entities. Whether it was an impact or a blast that was causing the, uh, the trauma, with support from our computational work, we're able to dig down and see the, uh, the physics for potential cause of that difference. And that's a very important finding. What we were trying to do was follow on previous work that we had done. We were simulating the experiments that uh, Lee Goldstein, uh, the principal author in the work, had done that it was head motion in, from blast that gave rise to uh, chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Previous experiments and work for years and years and years had maintained a fixed head and the blast would travel over the head, but no one could find any resulting brain injury uh, from that. The experiments were set up to have the same uh, response, the same head motion to both an impact trauma and blast trauma. After blast, there was no concussion, yet concussion with impact for the same motion. And so the question was, what is there in the loading that could potentially cause that difference? And that was a bit of a mystery. This is the second study we've done with Lee Goldstein at uh, Boston University's MD-PhD. We needed some way to, to assess what was happening inside the head, and the only way we could probe that was with computation. And so we used the uh, multi-physics computational tools here at, here at Livermore and high-performance computing to get in and simulate the two, the two loading conditions. There's no difference with the pressure in the brain, but we did notice a profound difference in the shear stress. These um, shear stresses occurred before there was any gross motion of the head. That high shear region just doesn't move. It's just sort of, just sort of stationary. They persisted around the impact point, and I uh, condensed it for a fast phone call to Lee. I called him up and said, Lee, look, this is what I think we have. And then there's silence at the other end of the phone. And I said, Lee, he goes, I think you may have uncovered the cause of concussion. Getting into the, an under, a better understanding of the, the causes of the, of the trauma, the causes of the, the damage that can result from the trauma could lead us to, in the future, develop perhaps better protections against, in particular, in this case, impact loading, where you want to make sure that any helmet you design for an impact load is does a very good job of spreading out the load as, as well as possible, so you don't get this high concentration of shear stress that leads to a concussion. The more you learn about the causes of traumatic brain injury, uh, the more you learn about how to um, treat it after it's occurred, um, prevent it from happening, it's the whole spectrum.